More basketball here in the Midlands. And, of course, Tuesday night, we love to get excited about high school basketball. Our game to watch, round number two, AC Floor and Drear. And, yes, we'd like to talk about that guy, number one. We talk AC Floor. We pick up the action in the second half. Tevin Mack will go baseline for the layup. The score is tied 21-21. And AC Floor is going to come right back with Kendall Hampton. who will miss the shot. But Rion Davis gets to put back in the two points. Dreer point guard DeAndre Nathaniel. He's going to drive to the basket, get the shot, and the one. They like to call it. He'll go to the stripe. Then the AC floor is going to come right back. They're going to find James Murray in the corner for the 3 0 line. That's right. And that, that game is tied 36 36. Then late in the fourth, Dreer up by one. AC floor is Kendall Hampton. He'll will drive the basket, miss the shot. But there, that man again, Rion Davis, puts the ball back for the two. Going to miss the free throw. Tevin Mack, here's going to get very interesting. Ten seconds left. Davis will make the uh, first one, miss it, come down, and we're going to see what happens here. Tevin Mack, you know he's going to get the ball right. You know he's watching that clock. He's going to miss right there. Gets the ball back, throws it inside. Ball goes up. Basket's good. Layup's good. Dreer wins this ball game 52 to 50. My number one team goes down. But I got some things to say about that. Later on in the week, Hammond and Augusta Christian. Of course, this young man, star point guard, seven woods, beat his man off the dribble for a nice float in the lane for two. The next time down, of course, Woods going to have the ball a lot. He's going to get in the paint again for another deuce. He'll have 28 points on the night. Augusta Christian tries to make it interesting with a dunk, slam, or oh, slam, but uh, it will not be enough. Hammond going to beat Augusta Christian 55 to 43. Over to Whipple Court. Let's take a trip over to Irmo. There's that man right there, Mr. Mr. Court himself. Kind of like Coach Caden. I won't call the other name. But Irmo, really good. Devontae Shuler going to do his thing here. Going to steal a pass. I'm thinking he's going to dunk the basketball, but come on, man. He lays it up, though, for the two points. Just give him a hard time. Shuler going to miss that three Ola. Trey Magwood on senior night cleans it up. Gets a nice put back for the two. Then Tavon Baum with a nice pass finds R.J. Gunn, who finished it for the nice basket. Then Drevin Sweat, three Ola. They want me to get my vocal cords warm. Jaquez Smith, he's going to answer with a nice three Ola. Then Tavon Bond, he's going to drive this ball down the lane. Yes, the bank is open, but Irmo going to take this basketball game. Let's see, 74 to 63, that is the final. Baseball, you heard Henry talking about the weather being chilly and cold and all that good stuff. They're going to take on the College of Charleston. The three-game series in the weekend is going to be nice. We talked to Ray Tanner about some baseball. He's excited about that. But Will Crow, the right-handed pitcher, the sophomore, is on a list of 50 guys for the Golden Spikes Award watch list. They announced that by USA Baseball on today. And Michael Roth will throw out the first pitch on Friday as well. That game's at 4 o'clock. This is a pretty cool story right here. Remember this guy, Phil Negro, and – and uh, Bobby Richardson, who coached at South Carolina, took him, or led him to their first tournament in 1974. Billy Odell, they're all hanging out over at the Lexington Medical Center. And that was a cool thing to see those old timers, those legendary baseball players. And we had a chance to go out there and catch up with those guys, Amber Pennycuff. And, of course, Mr. Necro asked some questions. He played a sports reporter. Here's what he had to ask Mr. Bobby Richardson. Yes, Dad, both of you. Bobby, who was the toughest pitcher? that you had to face and who was the toughest guy you had to get out? My toughest was Koufax and the 63 oh, World nice. Series, I batted second. Kubek struck out, I struck out, Mattel struck out. Next time up, Kubek struck out, I struck out, Mattel struck out. Third time up, I just wanted to be a first ball hitter, hit it somewhere. <laughs> Kubek struck out, I struck out. I walked by Mattel in the old neck circle, he shook his head and said, no use for me to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you like to hang around old timers, let them tell stories. It's amazing how they remember all that stuff. I don't remember too much. People ask me all the time, what was the best game? What was your worst game, biggest hit? Uh, I tell them concussions. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, stay tuned. Watch Fox News at 10. We'll return. All these guys will be back at the desk. We'll wrap things up. <laughs>